Hello and welcome to UC Today. I'm Tom Wright and I'm delighted to be joined by Udo from Spectralink. Thanks for being with us today, Udo. Great to be here. Yeah, it's, it's great to have you. Um, and we're going to be looking at sort of Microsoft Teams migrations today. But to start with, it would be good if you could just give us an overview of yourself, your role at Spectralink. Okay, great. Yes, I will. So, I mean, um, let, let me first start with Spectralink. So, I mean, I think we, we are in the business, actually, I mean, with uh, enterprise-grade uh, multi-cell uh, decked. I mean, for over 30 years. So the, this really spans the whole portfolio. I mean, the deck server, essential infrastructure component, the base stations, I mean, a variety of handsets, I mean, depending really on what the customer needs. I mean, more sensors, more IP protection, more alarming capability. Um, and um, last but not least, um, of course, I mean, um, infrastructure um, managed out of the cloud, which is called Amy, I mean, in, in Spectralink speak. So, I mean, which makes us um, pretty, pretty unique um, in the market. Regarding my, my background, I mean, as Spectralink, I'm responsible, I mean, for, for sales in the so-called Dach region, Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. I mean, I have a very channel-related background. I mean, uh, my, my, my former, uh, in, in my former career, I mean, built up really, I mean, as well, I mean, the complete professional business, I mean, also in the... Uh, for uh, for a decked um, IP vendor, so um, and it was always really channel related. <clears throat> Great. So let's go um, into a little bit more detail around Spectralink. Then, can you talk us through uh, what you think it is about Spectralink that um, makes the offering unique? So as I said, I mean we are we are long in the business now with uh, enterprise grade um, um, decked IP. So we have many many really large customers. I mean, we're really, I mean, the deck deployment, I mean, um, spans multiple, multiple locations, I mean, even continents. So, I mean, um, th this is really something, you know, other vendors, you know, don't have like this. So, this really speaks for our infrastructure. Um, and um, <clears throat> then, of course, I mean, the voice quality um, of, our, of our handsets, I mean, um, which, which is extremely important because think about, you know, very noise, uh, very, very loud, noisy environments in manufacturing, for instance. I mean, this is something we really need to have. I mean, a very good, a very good uh, voice uh, capability of the handsets uh, where we stand for. And um, of course, last but not least, I mean, it's our um, interoperability, um, uh, our, our interoperability with large uh, PBX system. I mean, most notably, I think, I mean, is the Microsoft Teams um, integration or with Microsoft Teams Voice. I mean, which actually we were the first ones, uh, the first one, I mean, worldwide uh, in, in 2022, I mean, to be certified by, by Microsoft as well. And uh, th this really shows, I mean, um, where, the, where the whole market, I mean, is, is going to. And um, the last but not least, it's not only Teams. I mean, it is Cisco. I mean, it is Ring Central. It is um, it is um, Zoom phone, and of course, I mean a couple of others. But but the real big trend actually um, is really uh, as we call it UCAS uh, Unified Communications as a Service. I mean we're glo uh, seen globally. I mean the market. I mean is really pushing to it. <clears throat> Yeah, and you mentioned briefly our manufacturing. I think it'd be interesting to go into that a little bit more. So could you talk through why some of those features you mentioned are really important to organizations in the manufacturing space? I mean, I think you know, the manufacturing industry, I mean, had really, I mean, during the pandemic, I mean, a special challenge. Because, I mean, for instance, I mean, of course, the, manuf the manufacturing worker or the workers on the assembly floor in the warehouse, I mean, they just, you know, cannot be sent home and they actually do, do, do it at home. So, I mean, for instance, mo most of the office colleagues actually were sent home during the, during the pandemic, meaning, of course, a huge challenge for the com companies. How do we combine now, from a communication point of view, those two worlds? Because, I mean, especially if you, if you talk about Germany, I mean, Germany is still very conservative. I mean, in terms of uh, cloud PBX deployment, I mean, behind other, other European countries, I mean, notably Benelux or the uh, Nordic regions. So, I mean, the, the companies really had to adapt themselves quickly and, and to combine this somehow. So, I mean, this meant, of course, using SPCs, combining the worlds and so on. And um, this, was, this was really the big challenge. On the one hand, this drove very much um, um, innovation. Many companies now, as you can imagine, deployed uh, Microsoft Teams as internal um, um, collaboration platform, works great, as well internal calls also works great on Teams. 
I mean, on your on your internal network. But of course, I mean, this left it open. I mean, how do you combine now the worlds? I mean, um, with Teams Voice because there are many companies then actually um, went to because the users knew already. I mean, how Teams uh, the t the Teams environment uh, or the Teams interface, and then came t Teams Voice, which of course then then meant for us as well as Spectralink. Um, the opportunity combining those two worlds actually with our direct um, integration, and that's actually what many, what many, what many companies in the manufacturing world did. <clears throat> It'd be interesting if you could give us, um, I suppose, some real world examples of this, and then just talk us through you know, how long these kind of migrations was taken, and whether organisations have to buy you know, an entirely new set of devices. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, exactly a nice example of what I described. I mean, this German company, I mean, it's called Aquaterm. I need to read this. It's the world's leading manufacturer of, plus, of plastic piping systems made out of polypropylene. So, I mean, they're typically what you call German Mittelstand, which is the backbone, actually, I mean, of the, of the, of the German economy. So, I mean, they're, they're asset world market leader. They have, I think, you know, globally, I mean, five, um, um, five um, larger, larger subsidiaries. And um, so they had exactly this challenge. I mean, I de I described before, and um, and then you know they they really together with our partner I mean, IANT. I mean, um, they really thought how can we combine this because the way they originally did this. I mean, with the SPC, you know, with old legacy systems. For instance, their their deck was still on the old PBX legacy systems. Then, of course, you had the new world, in other words, teams, you know, people, I mean, office workers you know, in the home office or much of hybrid work today. Um, and, and, and all this came together. I mean, and IANT, I mean, which was um, their chosen partner, um, they've done a, a lot of projects in, the, in a couple of, uh, uh, in the last years, you know, with us, actually. And that's then... Um, Exactly, you know how how there was um, a proof of concept being done. Um, actually, how this worked, and to be frank, I mean it was pretty simple. So they had to replace. I mean, of course, parts of the deck uh, infrastructure because the old one, depending if it's if it's a digital world uh, or a deck uh, TDM um, um, version, so they replaced this one. Um, and for instance, um, then if you have to write licenses, which you of course need. So many companies, um, for instance, already have the licenses. I mean, it's, it's in the Microsoft 365 plan included. If not, you need to license this additionally, um, as a matter of fact. And um, then more or less, you know, and easily you go. And regarding your desk phone infrastructure, um, as well, depending on the device here, if you don't have to, you don't need um, to change much. So from the infrastructure side, it's not such a heavy investment, actually, to go to Microsoft Teams. And um, as well, what people, people like. So the Teams voice part, meaning being able to be phoning out of Teams. I mean, it's just an addition, in other words, you know, in the Teams interface. So it's easy for everybody. People knew it. And that was easier than the choice, you know, of, of Aquaterm. And they uh, most likely, you know, then, you know, will to roll out this then globally um, as well. But as I said, you need a very reliable and, 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 and good partner for this. Because, I mean, um, I haven't mentioned this, we only sell uh, in the so-called two-tier model, meaning Spectralink sells to distributor, distributor sells to reseller or integrator, whatever you might call it, and then to the end customer. <clears throat> yeah, you mentioned channel partners only a few times. I get the feeling that they're obviously incredibly important to, to how you do business. It would be good to get an understanding of the role that... IANT played in uh, in the example you just spoke about, and then if you could just tell us sort of more generally about your channel strategy, that would be good. Yeah, I mean it is. Um, I mean, first of all, I mean regarding, for instance, I mean Teams, so Teams integration. I mean, um, it is pretty much driven actually by, by by larger partners because I mean the normal way to Microsoft to do it is with with larger customers. So I mean, so from our point of view, it's really mean um, um, speaking and working together with larger channel partners. And um, as well, those actually were really we are completely deeply, deeply integrated. So meaning, for instance, with Teams, so it's really partners who do Teams Voice um, or partners, um, for instance, who do Ring Central. It's then, of course, the, the, the Ring Central part, which is more of a carrier business, actually. So, I mean, um, this is, uh, generally speaking, I mean, um, um, the way the strategy um, we work um, um, from this side. 
of course, I mean, we have, we have many customers as, uh, or many partners actually as well. I mean, coming as well from, from, uh, uh, from the uh, VIA side, for instance, where we are also certified um, as TechDP uh, multi-cell system. So, I mean, but it, it is really the new world combining with the old world because the, the VIA part is more or less for on-prem systems and, I mean, Teams and Ring Central. Um, but as I said, you know, many German system integrators, uh, same true for Austria and Switzerland, are really going, going, going this path. So, I mean, in this case, the pandemic was really positive. I mean, at least it has or has had some positive effects like this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Udo, it's been great talking to you. I'm afraid that's all we've got time for, but it's been really good getting some, some real world examples. I think it always helps bring these stories to life. So thank you for joining us. Thank you. And thank you everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and a share on social media and we'll see you next time. Bye.